Hey guys, Toy here, and uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick update on my uh, reading challenge. So I'm going to let you know what I read and reviewed in the month of January, and I'm going to let you know um, what I'm currently reading, what I'm hoping to read in the month of February, and how it all lines up with the initial goal that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. So let's look at my list, and I'm also going to be giving some other quick updates on some things, but let me go ahead and get to this first. Um, if you remember, I did a, another update video where I explained how I had said I wanted to read 30 books, but then there were two that I read on January 1st. I didn't really want to count those. So I went on to my Goodreads challenge and I upped it to 32, just so I wouldn't kind of be like cheating. So it probably seems like I'm reading more than I actually am just because Two of those don't really count. But amazingly enough, I I read a lot this month. I'm not gonna give you the wrong impression. A lot of the some of the stuff that I read was really short. It was like short fiction. So I'm not patting myself on the back too much. But let's just look at what I have. So in the month of January, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I read and reviewed six publications. Out of those six publications. Three of them were on my original list of books to try to read for the year. So that's pretty good. And of those, three of those were short fiction. And when I say short fiction, I mean like they were less than 100 pages. I read two full-length books and one other book that I read, um, I'm not really supposed to be talking about it right now. I mean, I can mention it that once it comes out, I will be reviewing it. It was a graphic novel and it, um, I'll talk about that in just a second. So that's just kind of like an overview of what's happened so far. So let's actually get to the books. So I read the book Gemini by Carol Cassell. I think that's her name. I mean, it'll be on the screen somewhere. Um, Gemini was a book that um, my book club from my school where I work decided to read and um, I reviewed it I believe I gave it a three I thought it was a good book but not really my style not really for me I felt like the author wrote with so much detail that it took a lot away from the story in my review I believe I used the word minutia to describe my experience and that's totally a personal preference because the story that she wrote was actually a good story and the style just didn't wasn't for me and so that's why I gave it a three and if you want to see more um, specifics about that review you know you can check it out and at the link and the next book that I read was and this one I actually finished it like on the last day of January and this was Under the Tuscan Moon by Denise Covey and that's actually um, Denise Covey is a blogger that I follow and um, she runs a writing program, um, a contest that I, li I like to enter from time to time. And so I bought a book a long time ago, should have read it a long time ago, but I finally read it. And just a quick overview, it's a um, vampire story, but it's, it's traditional. It's not like the modern takes on vampires that you see nowadays in books and movies and everything. So it's kind of a throwback. And it's written in kind of an old world style, so I ended up giving it a four. I really like the story. It's just not something that you read a lot in this day and age. So if you want to know more about that, again, check the link below. The uh, Another book that I read um, this month was Of Water and Madness, and that was the last book in the Dry Quartet by Katie Jennings. And um, again... I'm pretty sure she finished that quartet like four or five years ago. It just took me that long to read it because I literally read like one book a year, spread it out, you know. But I thought it was a good ending to the series. There were some things that I felt could have been, you know, in, you know, done a little bit better. But that's where, you know, kind of readers have that privilege of saying, oh, I would have done it this way when <laughs> it doesn't really matter because the author did it the way she wanted to do it. In all honesty, it was it was the right conclusion to that series. So, I mean, I'm satisfied. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm a reader. I'm a fan. So, I'm always going to complain a little bit. The next thing I read was um, Courage, which is the second book in the Mark of Nexus series by Carrie Butler. And I can't remember if I gave it a four or five, which I feel really bad that I don't remember that. But I do remember that I really liked this book. So, 
you know, whether I loved it, I, I can't remember at this particular moment, but I liked it. I want to say that I probably gave it a four because right now I'm just thinking of a few things that kind of irked me about the characters. Um, the two main characters, Rena and her uh, boyfriend Wallace, I still love them. I mean, so that didn't change. The story is still amazing. It's a lot of fun. And so another book that I read was Lessons from the um, Back of a Store. And that was a gift that someone gave me. Their father had written it, someone I worked with. And it was a, it was a cute book. It ended up being more of a self-help type book than an actual, like, I thought it was going to be more of like a memoir filled with like anecdotes and little stories. And it did have some of those in it. But I guess because the impression that I got from the front of the book, even though it does clearly say lessons, I just thought it was going to be more of like a memoir, kind of looking back on the life. And it was more of a kind of self-help. And self-help is not my genre. I'm just going to, you know, so that's not any fault of the author. It's just, it's just, you know, it's hard for me to read self-help. So I ended up giving that book a three. Um, it's definitely something I would recommend to like friends and family. It's got a lot of good principles in it. Um, I don't know that it's currently listed under Christian nonfiction, but I think that's where I would put it. So, and then the last book I read um, in the month of January, like this was, this is the one that I consider like almost microfiction, but it's really not. I mean, there's flash fiction and stuff like that. This was about 14 or 15 pages and it was called Marigold. And this is, and this is something rare. I don't do this very often, but this is one of those things where I saw like a tweet that said, you know, get this book today. Either it was either 99 cents or it was free. And, um, you know, usually I, I try not to download free books um, unless it's like if Marissa Myers had one of her books for free. Yeah, I'm downloading it. I mean, I buy her books all the time. So if I had a chance to get one for free, I would. But um, this particular book, I don't know why. I saw that it was a short read and I was like, why not? I feel, you know, I'll download the book and I'll write a review for that author and as an as a indie author myself, I know how much reviews are important. So not only did I, you know, read the book and review it, I made sure that when I downloaded it that day I tweeted it out so maybe a couple of other people could download it. So, you know, it's it's one of those things. Do you or don't you? I did. So that's what I read in January. That's kind of the um overview and if you want to you know see the reviews of those books check the link below what i am reading right now as of now in the month of february is uh, i'm reading dragon of the stars that's a book a standalone um, sci-fi opera by alex j Kavanaugh. and um so i'm looking forward to that i'm already started it i'm reading uh girl wakes with gun and that's um book one in the not sister series this is a historical fiction um, I'm really, really kind of excited about it. The book cover alone is amazing. And it's, I believe it's the story of um, a bunch of sisters who end up becoming like deputy sheriffs. And it takes place like in the 20s or 30s, I believe. I think the 20s. So, I mean, that's just cool in and of itself. So, excited about that. I am reading this one book, which I didn't mention this before. I thought I should mention it now. I'm not really sure how it's going to reflect on my actual reading challenge because what it is is I'm reading a book called Cling to God a Daily Devotional and it's written by a uh, again a, a blogger that I follow and respect a lot and so I'm reading this daily devotional and you're supposed to read once a day one a day and it's what probably get through the year well I'm actually reading two a day right now because that's just where I am people being honest and uh, so anyway, when I finish it, because I'll finish it before the end of the year, obviously, I'll pick up something else to, you know, let that be my devotion. So I don't even know if that counts in my reading challenge, but I figured I'll go ahead and put it out there. That's what I'm reading. And I, yesterday, um, I don't know if you are signed up for the Kindle First program. Um, a lot of people, you know, are very adamant about when they read books, like only read paperbacks or hardbacks or whatever. I, I like physical books too, but I can breeze through an ebook very quickly. So, um, Kindle First sent me a notice that, you know, here's some books that are coming out, you get them at a discount. And I saw a really cute kid story called Duck and Hippo in a Rainstorm. So, yes, I got my discount and downloaded it, and I'll be reading that in the next day or two. Now, there is one more book 
that I'm going to read this month. This one, I know I'm going to read it. Um, and it's a graphic novel that I, um, I think there was like a Kickstarter. No, this one was not a Kickstarter. It was on a blog that I saw and the guy was setting up uh, pre-orders and I snagged one. It's called The Kindergarten. I'm going to read it, probably going to enjoy it, and then I'm going to share it with my students at school, just like I'm going to share this duck and hippo story with my kids at school. So those are my reading goals. And just to give you an idea of some other things that are coming down the road, I know I talked a lot about things that I've bought or read or whatever. You're thinking, aren't you supposed to be an author? Yes, I am. So coming up soon, I will be giving some samples of some of my works in progress. So those videos are coming. Stick around, people. Until next time. Bye-bye.